Hey guys, welcome back to Snake Limited, and today I believe I probably have the single most expensive and most important unboxing uh, for Snake Limited or Blind Shark Exotics since I've been in existence for the last five years. Um, I have, if you've been along with my journey, um, we have had quite a <laughs> quite a road we've traveled so far. I'm going from breeding Blue Eyed Lucy's to having a big year of producing, you know, 100 plus hatchlings and having, uh, I think, 20 plus clutches a few years back to deciding that I didn't want to just produce, you know, pet quality snakes, that I wanted to produce investment quality ball pythons. And selling every adult female I had to purchasing a bunch of uh, recessives, mostly pieds, but some, you know, uh, pieds, het clowns, and, and, and uh, lightning pieds, which I produced last year. And today we're at a point where I have really stepped up my game to the point where double recessives is basically all that I want to be producing next season. Um, I will be producing some this year, and if they're not double recessives, they are, you know, single recessive and hats that are either, uh, I either, I'm either making clown pieds this year, clown head pieds, pied head clowns, or pied head ultramels, and not a lot of anything else. I think I'm only breeding one male that isn't a double recessive male, but he's super orange dream, enchi, leopard, yellow belly, uh, pied. So um, this is the next step in that journey so that next year we're producing stuff that's even crazy, crazier. Um, this first snake here, these, these snakes are all from the same project. Um, this one here is from Canova, Justin Kabelka. And he was actually, he's a, he's a baby. He was just, uh, I think his birth date was in February this year. Um, but he's kind of a one-of-a-kind. He had a, a sibling that was similar um, to him, but definitely a uh, power-packed, powerhouse breeder for next season and for these two females. So let's get him out of here and take a look. Like I said, he's still, he's still really a baby, but he'll be breeding for me next year, hopefully. Hopefully, because that's the plan. Let's see what we got. Very excited for this. I've been looking at him for a while. And after I uh, nabbed these two females, he was basically just kind of became a, a no-brainer for me. And he's prettier in person. His pictures, he, he looked a little darker than I thought he would be for the genes he has. But he is actually a lot brighter than I had hoped. So here he is. This guy here, he is a orange dream, yellow belly, leopard pinstripe, confusion, double het, clown, and desert ghost. So, um, you know, that'll give you a, a kind of a little preview as to what's going on here is that I'm getting into the desert ghost clown project. And this guy is just a stunner. Um, to, I'm hoping that the, the camera can pick up the colors here and hopefully it does against my dark sweatshirt. Uh, he's really... A nice rusty orange color kind of all the way through he's a little brighter towards the bottom of his belly and it kind of gets a little rustier up towards the top but look at the pattern on this guy it's like completely scrambled which was a really big reason why I purchased them and it's it's I think it's a lot of the uh, confusing confusion mixing with the pinstripe um, you know obviously the other genes help he's also possible fire too so he has five co-dominant genes he has two recessive genes. Um, he's had heterozygous for them. He's not obviously not a visual for either. But this guy can be bred to a clown and make clowns with all these crazy genes, plus whatever the female has. He can be bred to a desert ghost <clears throat> and produce a bunch of crazy genes. Um, and at that point, if I breed him to a t desert ghost, I can test if any of those offspring are uh, het for clown. Um, but either way, he's going to be producing 50% hats if I'm breeding him to desert ghosts or clowns. But if I'm breeding him to a desert ghost clown, I'm going to be probably producing world's firsts with this guy. Um, he's absolutely just stunning. I've been wanting to get confusion into my projects for a while. And I figured what better way to do it than <laughs> into the desert ghost clown project. Um, the other big selling point for this guy is that he has a lot of the genes that I 
basically build my uh, collection around. I, I'm a huge Orange Dream guy. That's probably my single favorite gene. Um, Yellow Belly mixes well basically in everything. Uh, Leopard is kind of the other gene that I feel like mixes well with everything. Leopard and Orange Dream are probably my two favorite mixers. I've actually made a video about it. Um, Pinstripe, I think, is kind of an under underutilized gene and um, probably could uh, probably be used a little more often, I would think, uh, because it's just really kind of an awesome gene. And then there's Confusion, which is kind of the newest gene on the market out of all of them that's really starting to get uh, picked up and utilized by people. And it just does wonders, especially in Clown, and especially if you look at this combo, I mean, look at that. It's, it's almost like a um, monsoon light <laughs> or a, uh, a kraken light. Or not a kraken, a, um, oh, jeez, what do they call it over in Europe? It's the monsoon, I forget. I'm drawing a blank. Um, but they, uh, it really does kind of look like, a, it's like a, it's like the other way of making a monsoon almost, the way it scrambles up this pattern. So this male is a huge part of breeding plans. Uh, he's probably going to get bred to these two females next year. Uh, he's definitely going to get bred to probably any desert ghost females I have that are just desert, plain desert ghosts because of what he can produce out of them. Um, I haven't seen any desert ghosts that have a lot of this, and if I have any, uh, if I pick up any desert ghost females over the next year that have a few extra genes in them, um, you know, maybe get some OD and get some super OD with this combo in a desert ghost. Um, but... Let's get to these females to show you what I plan on breeding him to because these, I think, while he was a great pickup, um, you know, I paid full price for him, which wasn't a lot. Um, not as much as you would think, I would guess, for the genes he has. But these females, I kind of feel like I, I stole them a little bit <laughs> because of the price point they were at and the size they are. Um, so let me get him put away. Actually, when I get him weighed, get him into his tub, and then um, let's get these females out. Next up, I have a pair of females from Chimera that are Desert Ghost Clowns. Um, I was kind of deciding, you know, where to spend my money from here at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, I was looking at getting some more Desert Ghost Pied stuff. Um, also looking at, you know, DG Clown or trying to see kind of where I wanted to go with double recessives. And I had these... these Two females kind of saved on my list for a while um, because of their age and size. And um, nice little lanyard here. I uh, kept looking, 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 kept looking around, and I kept coming back to these two because I'm somebody who literally studies the market, the pricing for things nonstop. I know what everything is priced um, in terms of the things that I'm looking at. And I don't believe that I purchased these two females for the price I did, considering the size they are, um, because they were competitively priced um, for their genes to begin with. But the fact that I got two of them, and they're pretty large, <laughs> is um, insane. I, I, I don't believe that I nabbed these two, um, because they're big. They're very big. <laughs> for what they are. I think they were born in August of last year. So this first one is a pastel Enchi Desert Ghost Clown. And the second one is actually a super pastel Enchi Desert Ghost Clown. So they're both pastel Enchi Desert Ghost Clowns. Uh, one of them just happens to be super pastel. Some people don't love pastel. I don't mind it. And these specifically they look great. When they're, when they're packed up with that male and produce an offspring next year, uh, nobody's going to be looking at it and thinking pastel's a bad thing. So this is the pastel Enchi. And both these females are like 500 grams. So I'm hoping I don't run any roadblocks with them. As you can see, for being born in August, uh, if I can unwind her a little bit here, they're a very, very healthy size. Um, so by the time next spring rolls around and they're almost two years old or next fall the next winter when they're a year and a half 18 months 20 months i don't see how they're really not ready to go it just depends on follicle size but look how beautiful this snake is <laughs> they are they look bright in in the pictures um they look even brighter in person 
DG and Clown just work so well together. It's such a clean pattern. There's outside of these couple markers on the side and those saddles on top, the snake's yellow, and it's a, like a gradient of yellow. You know, it, it it's a little uh, deeper yellow up here, and as you get towards the back, it kind of lightens up a little bit. But, you know, just the way DG works, and especially with Clown, it cleans everything up. There's no dirt, you know, you don't see any of like the kind of the, the black speckles or black scales uh, throughout the snake that you would expect to see. It's just a clean, clean snake. And actually, after I put this girl away, what I'll do is I'll get out. I have a pastel and she clown female and I can show you the difference. Well, actually, let's do it with this one because the other one's super pastel. So it's going to be a little different. Let me go get my pastel and she clown female. She's an adult and I'll compare just what adding desert ghost to that combo does. All right. So this big girl here is a pastel and she clown and she's right here next to this pastel and she desert ghost clown. And as you can see the difference, this girl, uh, the clown female here, the big one is very dark and has a lot of those dark scales. And this girl, uh, the, the desert ghost female is just yellow, just bright yellow. So adding desert ghost into this combo completely changes the look of the snake. Um, I personally love the way pastel and she looks on clowns. Um, it's a wonderful combo and she works well with a lot of different, um, morph combinations but the little <laughs> adding the one gene the desert ghost into this snake completely changes it it looks like they're two like vastly different morphs when in reality there's just one gene and they're changing it up so adding desert ghost in the clown is kind of the the way of the future and um just <laughs> just amazing all right i'm gonna put this girl down for a second hopefully she sits still here while i open up her sister and she is a super pastel desert ghost clown not a huge difference here they're actually the same price so you know i'm not not complaining about that either um they don't look drastically different the first thing i notice and i hope this kind of comes through on the camera is their head stamps the girl the super pastel here is here in my here in this hand and you probably won't see it on the camera, um, but the head stamp on her is a little more washed out, and so are the saddles. The saddles on the pastel are a little more black, whereas these ones are kind of closer to a gray color. But either way, I mean, they're just killer, killer snakes. And again, these females, um, they're double visual Desert Ghost Clowns, and... Chimera must have just been trying to sell these girls to try to get into other projects and reinvest because I basically bought these for the price that, both of them for the price that some people just have Desert Ghost Clowns listed for. So investing your money wisely um, is the thing that I kind of preach all the time. And this is a perfect example of that. I paid you know full price for that mail from Canova. It was like $4,000. But these guys, um, I got basically got two for the price of one. And it's insane because they're not hatchlings. These are almost a year old. They're 500 grams a piece. And they could be breeding for me by the end of the year, which is insane. So if you can get into a double recessive project that's as hot as Desert Ghost Clown and be on the frontier of producing some of these clutches, can you imagine what it looks like if I get confusion into this? Even, even if that male... Um, you know, 25% of the offspring from each one of these females should be Desert Ghost Clown if I pair up the double head male to it. If two or three of the genes from that male get into this combo, if Confusion or Orange Dream or Leopard or Pinstripe get into a Desert Ghost Clown, I'm going to be making some, like, insane combos. And if I hit more than that, if I hit Pastel Enchi, um, Leopard, Yellow Belly, Orange Dream, Pinstripe, uh, confusion Desert Ghost Clowns, I, th those have to be world's first. I've never seen anything like that. And even if they're not, I get one or two of those snakes out of there. I am light years ahead of where most people are with this project. So invest your money wisely. Find uh, hidden gems like these two females that maybe you don't love pastel. Um, maybe you're not huge on Enchi. But they make killer looking snakes. 
And when you can get a Desert Ghost Clown Female at 500 grams for less than some people are selling a plain Desert Ghost Clown for, you have to jump on it. That's how you wisely spend your money. And these didn't come from some guy, you know, selling them on the street. This comes from Camara. They're a well-known name. Um, they've been around for a while. I've actually purchased from Patrick before he turned into uh, Patrick McKnight, uh, who's part of Camara. I forget actually who he uh, combined with Mick Camara, but I've purchased stuff from Patrick before in the past. Um, these are legit snakes, and they're legit building blocks, and they're legit, you know, going to raise my game for next year. So you got to look ahead. you got to make smart buys and get into good double recessive projects. So that's it. I want to get these guys weighed up. Uh, I'm going to scan in their tags on Husbandry Pro. Double check to make sure they're females, which you should always do when you're getting your snakes. And you should always double check their gender when you get them just to make sure. Because most people have like a seven day return policy if they got the wrong gender on them. And um, get them settled in so that hopefully they're feeding for me start ne starting next week. And, uh, you know, getting them all ready for next year's breeding season. So... I'm stoked. This is honestly probably my most expensive, most important unboxing ever. Um, all three of these snakes, but these two girls especially, because I will, can't imagine that these girls won't be staying here for another half a decade um, because how important they're going to be to Desert Ghost Projects, the Clown Projects, the Desert Ghost Clown Projects. In two years, maybe I'm breeding them to a Desert Ghost Pied and Triple Recessive Projects. They're just building blocks for everything. This is how you spend your money smart.